like I stuck it. Walk it like I stuck it. Walk it, walk it like I stuck it. 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 Walk it, walk it like I stuck it. Walk it like I stuck it. Hey, walk it like I stuck it. Hey everyone, it's Kate Egan here, and I'm going to be vlogging a day in my life. I'm going to be going to the horse show and then going to the barn. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me. Good morning. It is 7.40 and I'm about to get up to go make some coffee before my statistics test at 8.30. After my statistics test, I'm gonna be going to the horse show, which is at Florida Horse Park this weekend. And then after that, I'll go back to the home farm to ride the rest of the horses. Pick your season occupation. It's time to send in your application. Get to know your All right, so I'm getting ready to take my statistics test. Luckily, we're able to have some formula sheets and notes for it. Um, but I'm taking it outside because the weather is like fairly nice. Um, it's a little foggy out in Ocala today, but it's so beautiful. Um, I'm hoping to make it over to the NCAA final either today or tomorrow. I went yesterday um, to cheer on a and um, but I'm hoping to watch the semifinals today and then the final tomorrow. So it definitely is a challenge balancing school and riding, especially because I'm still in public school, so I can't really move at my own speed. Um, but I just make sure that Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, I'm always doing school in the mornings. And then if I don't have time to do it in the morning because I'm riding or showing, I'll do it in the evenings and at night. Um, so. For example, today I'm taking a test before I go to the horse show, um, but luckily when I'm done with the test, I'm done with my schoolwork for the week, so I'll be able to just chill out the rest of the weekend. Also, I just have to come out here and say that I need to put my hair back in the ponytail because the humidity today in Ocala is insane that I literally looked crazy with my hair not pulled back, so thank God I'm wearing a helmet today. Okay, so an hour and a half later, I'm done with my statistics test. I feel like I did well on it. It got so humid outside that my papers started to like feel a little wet and my pencil stopped showing up. Um, anyways, I'm going to make some food and then I'm going to head over to the barn before I go to the horse show. Okay, so I always want to eat something before I go and ride, just to make sure I have enough energy. So I'm gonna make a little smoothie. The last time I tried to do this, the blender kind of like exploded. Um, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna do some banana and then I'm gonna put some like berries in. I normally do frozen fruit, but I don't really have that, and I just put the whole strawberry in. I don't really care. Okay, I'm gonna add some peanut butter to it. Love peanut butter. It's gonna get a little liquidy. I do some like oat milk. All right, hopefully this does not explode. I'm just going to put it into a nice little to-go cup so I can have some on my drive over to the barn. All right. And then look at this. Nutritious, healthy, and delicious. All right, guys. So I am dressed for the day. I am showing in a couple classes. I have some warm-up classes at the horse park today. So I am wearing my new equestrian club show shirt. I love it so much. There's like nice breathing holes. And then I'm wearing Taylor Sportsman, Drew Spari, just normal black socks, have my pearls in and my horse flight hat. So I'm about to leave 
to go quickly to the barn, pick some stuff up, and bring it to the horse show. Okay, so I have some of these snacks. I'm bringing my smoothie. It's actually a little lumpy, so that's a little upsetting. Anyways, my green drink. I love these hummus, some pita chips, and a granola bar. It's just like some easy snacks that I can eat during the day in between horses. Um, sometimes it's hard to have like a big meal in between, but I'm sure I'm going to get something at the horse show as well. It's actually so nice out today. Like the blue skies. Oh my God. But I actually opted for my extremely thin Grand Prix jacket because the humidity is just way too hot. I'm going to be dying. All right, guys. So I'm now in the car on my way to the barn. I just have to stop by, pick some stuff up. I'm going to go to the show. I am showing a pony in the schooling ponies and i'm doing the meter 25 low juniors and then i am also doing some schooling hunter trips to prep my junior the junior hunters i'm doing this weekend i'm gonna do it to prep them so it's gonna be a fun day and then when i'm done i'm gonna go to the barn i'm gonna ride cashmere my horse and then I'm going to ride the remaining horses that I have to ride on my list. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm here at the horse show with Liv Hi and Lane. Hi. I said something inappropriate, but she had to cut the camera. What did What did you do today? Um, I don't even know. I just did some like warm up thing. How'd it go? Um, it was a blue and red, and we got a blue and a red. <laughs> Get it. And then what do you have left today? I have to go to the main farm and ride my orangutan. Grind never stops. All right, oh, no. guys. No, no. <laughs> this is Carrie. How's your day going? <laughs> Great. Great. Thrilled. On a scale of one to ten, what do you rate it? Solid seven. My horses have been good, but it's slow going out here. She's the best. She's the best show manager, right? <laughs> She's surviving. <laughs> She's <laughs> surviving. <laughs> so it's time to get ready. I'm getting on to do the blue red warm up on a junior hunter. So I'm gonna put my boots on. My jacket on spurs I'm actually so excited because I'm gonna get a new helmet today because my helmet is like so old and scratched up and way overdue for a new one so I think I'm gonna get the same exact kind the mist shield just you know and it's like Sun bleached. So I need a new one. And a new hairnet. Like, this is not okay. This is literally always a struggle because my hair is so thick that it, like, it's so hard. But I think I got it. Thank God. I'm gonna quickly touch up my boots. So I don't really have enough time to do the whole shabam, but anyways, I'm going to bring this in my backpack that literally is the heaviest thing in the world to the ring. And yeah. Oh God. I'm just going to put in some awesome rounds to make us feel good and ready for the rest of the weekend. All right. I'm on my way down to the hunter ring for the blue red warm up. This is Muse. I'm done with the warm up. Now I'm gonna ride 
had this pony. I think its name is Moonlight. Hello, pony. We're just gonna school it. Then I have the schooling ponies later today and another one. All right, so I am about to get on for the schooling pony hunters. I'm gonna clock a cute medium pony around for its kid to show this weekend. And then I have the low junior jumpers. So we are here waiting for the schooling pony hunters. Schooling pony and hunters, this hey. Is my trainer Luke I'm Olson trainer Luke. from Redfield Farm. We've been here for about 40 minutes waiting for three trips to go, so just like a really good slow day here at the Florida Horse Park. Yeah, three trips in one hour. We love it. Our feelings out to you what's 10. Uh, what did I say before? Oh, like seven. seven yeah. I would upgrade it to an eight based off of this and I taste no cone. I had a SpongeBob flavor. SpongeBob flavor. That sounds amazing. I don't know what SpongeBob would taste like. He's upset. He went left with the first light. He is not amused. Not amused. At all. It's running a little slow today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to ride on here yet. I have my half and half, and I need a new helmet because mine is so old. So I'm going to go to a tech store and get a new one. Okay, we got a new helmet. Got this sticker still on that so embarrassing. Um, my hair is not going to get it in it, but it's so much better. The other helmet literally sat on top of my head so awkwardly because it was like way too small. Not too small. Okay, so getting ready for the jumpers my new helmet um i'm taking off my jacket it's way too hot and my car is like a sauna but um i'm not gonna show my jacket but i do show in a vest and the jumpers so putting this bad boy on and then yeah let's go zoom it up in the jumpers It's almost four o'clock now, so I'm on my way to the barn, so a little bit late getting there. I have three to ride there, and the show was very successful. We had one unfortunate rail in the low juniors, but we feel ready and prepped for the Classic on Sunday. So successful show day overall, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the weekend. I leased him from Redwood Farms. Oh, he's a good boy. He's like a big teddy bear. And he loves his treats and his big, big stall. He thinks my hand is a treat. All right, we saved the best for last. It's cashmere. He's not showing this week. I can't show last week. He's having a nice break shows and Devin so he just gets to chill out hang out in the field get nice rides so yeah he's the last one I'm doing for today and then once I'm done riding him I'll clean my tack and then I'll head home all right so I'm leaving the barn now and I am absolutely starving but I'm about to run out of gas, so I have to go get some gas. 
And then I'll probably make food as soon as I get home or I'll shower. I don't know yet. Okay, so I'm showered and I'm all done for the day. So I'm probably now just going to make some dinner and then rest up and go on my phone a little before I go to bed tonight. All right, so I'm at the gate for wet. Can we just talk about this the sunset? Okay, um, and hopefully I remember the code to get into work. Yes. I just ended the video. Oh well, I'm going to WEC to meet up with one of my best friends, Emma. She rides with Redfield, but she's in college right now, uh, riding for Baylor. So I'm gonna meet up I just got home, but I had such a fun day today and taking guys around everything I was doing. Um, this concludes my vlog, but thank you so much for following along. She's a Mona Lisa.